Your data is meant to be shared with others, but raw data in a table often isn't very clear. This is where database reports come in. For example, create a report to show a snapshot of data for a moment in time. Review details about specific records, as in a simple report of phone numbers for all your contacts, or summarize the big picture your data reveals, like in a summary report showing which customers recently placed the largest orders. The first step in creating a desktop database report is to select the source of the records for the report. The record source must contain all the rows and columns of data you want to display in the report. The record source can be a single table, but if the data is spread across two or more tables, use a named query or an embedded query that includes those tables. In the navigation pane, select the table or query that is your record source. Select Create. Here you can see different ways to create a report. With Report, you design a simple tabular report which includes all the fields in your record source. Report Design opens a blank report in Design View. Then you add the fields and controls you want from your record source. If you don't have a record source set up, use Blank Report and the Field List to add fields and controls directly to your report design. Labels, like customer address labels, are a type of report too, because they arrange fields from a table or query in a specific format. Use the Labels tool and walk through the wizard to select the label size, fields, and sort order. For the report we're creating now, select Report Wizard. This wizard guides us through picking the fields, selecting the field grouping or sorting, and specifying the report's layout. From Available Fields, select the first field you want in the report, and then select this right arrow. Continue to select and add the fields you want in your report from the fields available in your selected record source. You're not locked into using only the fields in the one table or query you selected as your record source. If you want, select fields from other related tables or queries. Here, you specify how you want to see the data based on what you choose to emphasize. Let's set up the report to view by order status. On this page, specify grouping to organize or chunk large amounts of data to make it easier to understand. Select Grouping Options to see more choices about the grouping level you just added. On this page, specify the sort order. Let's say we want an ascending sort by order ID. Select Summary Options to specify whether you want any calculations done on your numeric data. Here, select your report layout. Specify whether you want the report to be in portrait or landscape orientation, and whether you want fields to adjust to the size of the page. Add a title for your report. Let's see how the report looks so far. Preview is already selected, so select Finish. Looks pretty good. We can make adjustments here on the Print Preview tab. When we're done, select Close Print Preview. The report appears in Design View. Take a look at the Reports list in the Navigation pane. Your new report is added to the list of report objects. Although you might want to make some adjustments over time, you now have your basic report, which is ready to share and tell the story your data reveals.